car nowadays is one of the most high-tech pieces of equipment that is manufactured. An automobile for many, many years was considered a mechanical engineering product, but today it's more predominantly an electrical engineering and software engineering product. A typical car has maybe 10 million lines of code in it and has maybe as many as 70 microprocessors. And all these microprocessors and all this software implement the control algorithms that regulate pretty much every function on the car. The automotive industry is desperate to hire people to write embedded control software. So there's lots and lots of opportunities there. There are lots of suppliers to the automotive industry as well. And over the last 10 years, the big car companies have started outsourcing more of their product development to these suppliers, companies such as Bosch, Eaton, Autolive, and these companies make things such as engine control modules, uh, active safety systems, anti-lock brake systems, and so there's lots of uh, jobs there in addition to, to the ones at Ford, General Motors, Chrysler, or Toyota. So what has the electrical and computer engineering department done to better prepare students for jobs in the automotive sector? Well, to a great extent, um, a lot of the courses and even some of the faculty that we've hired in the last 10 years uh, work to that end. EECS 461, the Embedded Control Systems class, was created specifically in response to a request from engineers working at Ford Research Labs. A lot of the motivation for creating an electric power area uh, and hiring professors such as Heath Hoffman, Juan Rivas, and Ian Hiskins was due to the dominant role that electric machines and power electronics are playing in this world of hybrid electric vehicles and all electric vehicles. Even the computer vision faculty play a big role in autonomous vehicles and in active safety systems. And I know several former EECS 461 students that are out working at auto suppliers right now, writing software for vision systems that go on cars. So why should you consider getting a master's degree in automotive engineering? Well, every week I get emails from companies wanting to hire engineers, and they're almost always looking for students with master's degrees. Companies really seem to prefer the additional year of maturity and uh, training that a master's degree provides. We've recently revised all the degree requirements to put a lot of electrical engineering content in there. And you'll also have to take some mechanical engineering classes just so you'll be able to talk to the other people on your um, design team and understand what the functionality of a car is. That combined with your classes in electric machines and embedded control software will uh, serve you really well. The Automotive Engineering Master's Degree program can be taken on campus or it can be taken online while you're actually working in industry and many students choose that option because it allows them to um, further their education while they're working full time. One of the challenges facing the automotive industry nowadays is they have to compete with companies such as Google and Microsoft and Intel for engineering talent. A lot of students think of the companies I just mentioned as being right out on the forefront of technology, but in fact, the automotive industry itself is right out on the forefront of technology. Together with all those lines of code, with all those microprocessors, with several networks, with the advent of vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to infrastructure communication that is going to enable perhaps completely autonomous vehicles. The automotive industry is really the place to be if you want to work in high tech.